my job is a wheelchair personalization support officer and that involves really helping people get an even more bespoke uh, wheelchair from the wheelchair service. Well done. That means instead of just going into the wheelchair service and getting one that's comfortable for your condition, you actually think more about oh, what do you want your wheelchair to enable you to do in your day-to-day -day life and how can that make you more independent. But so which email is it going to be email? This hunt email? Yeah, I don't think it's actually been attached. So. As the League Commissioner for Promoting Independence, I actually come from a background in adult social care where direct payments and personal budgets have been around for significantly longer than they have in the NHS. I saw a real opportunity to incorporate the learning that I've had from my local authority experience into improving our wheelchair services for our citizens. We did a lot of mapping uh, of what the process is and how people access the service. We also engaged with some of our wheelchair users to find out what their experience was of our service and actually it was quite poor. There were long delays, there was duplication of assessments and exclusion criteria which just didn't make any sense. The old system, um, you might go to the wheelchair service in Gloucestershire and get a wheelchair that, that it was just to do with your condition uh, rather than thinking oh what do you want your wheelchair to do outside make any changes no it's, a, it's all right for the moment just the new system so personal wheelchair budgets that means that you would have a more detailed conversation with your occupational therapist or therapist about okay what do you want your wheelchair to enable you to do and it encourages the service user to take more responsibility and also the, the therapist to think more carefully about it, about the whole wheelchair process. I would say Gloucestershire services as a whole have been more treating the person as an individual and looking at everything surrounding them. It's been a, a lot more open and kind of inclusive of your whole life rather than what's wrong at that moment. The voucher scheme gave you a certain amount with limited choice and the personal wheelchair budget, it's taken into account what actually fulfills my needs and not just gets me from A to B. Hey Neil, how you doing? Yeah, good mate. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. You're any good? It does give you more control in what you are looking for with support as well. So not just saying, oh, I want a Ferrari wheelchair because it goes fast, but looking at, you know, does it actually make your life better? Does it uh, give you more independence? Does it give you that freedom that you need? Whether it's freedom from pain or freedom from environment, terrain, weather conditions, whatever and the personal wheelchair budget schemes kind of opened that up and allowed me to actually believe it's possible. We want to give the people of Gloucestershire choice and control. We want to take direct payments, personal health budgets, that one step further under the guise of integrated personalised commissioning. The wheelchair pathway was ripe for review. Um, it was clunky, it was, it was duplication of effort and actually by bringing together the health and social care we have been able to make a fundamental difference to our service here. Hopefully with this new system it will mean that the, the wheelchair user gets a more person-centred uh, service and more rounded service every time they go. And therefore you have happy people which means good NHS.